The power of our weapons could win the military battle in Kosovo. But the peace can only be won by the human heart. Uh, the March 17, 2004 riots were obviously a big event uh, while we were here last time. We didn't do any crowd riot control training really to speak of prior to coming here. But once the riots were over, uh, we got shipments in of uh, crowd riot control equipment. Uh, we began doing some training. We did some crowd riot control with shields, batons, and helmets type training. Uh, we did that over the course of the next few months while we were here. So. I remember that they decided we'd all get pepper spray, so we all got pepper sprayed. Not my favorite moment on the deployment, because you have to get pepper sprayed and go through the gauntlet. Um, not fun. I do remember it, was, it wasn't so much about training, as there was kind of a mentality. We kind of come to Kosovo with the idea of, we're just here and we're just gonna be present and we're gonna let this be and we're not gonna set the world on fire. And we, we came back a little, probably colder to the mission, not, not to say that we were mean, but uh, we were, our eyes were opened. So being here in Kosovo 17 years after the first time I've been here, uh, there's been wild changes to, to the population, to the infrastructure, pretty much everything is, is better than it was, which is to be expected after 17 years, but uh, it is really hard to even imagine some of the places where I was back then don't even look the same now because of all the new buildings and, and houses and, and businesses that have popped up. Um, in some ways, some things have never changed. The house that I knew to turn to Zagra, it's still there, they haven't fixed it. But the intersection where the riot was is like it never happened. So some things have changed dramatically and some things haven't changed at all. I jokingly talk about the very few changes there are to bond steel. There really haven't been a ton. There've been some, but like it's the same rooms, it's the same brown paint. But some of the changes um, that have that have come have just been amazing. I mean, you don't if you didn't appreciate what it was like to drive from bond steel to Pristina on the rolled road system, you don't you don't know how much better it is. battalion was preparing for the deployment in uh, I would say early 2007 uh, we did have leaders from the first the 113 113th Cavalry uh, come over to our battalion headquarters and uh, educate us on what the environment was like in Kosovo uh, and help us uh, you know become familiar with the operational environment shared some of their experiences with us uh, and and uh, overall just helped us be more prepared for that mission we helped maintain a safe and secure environment during uh, the period surrounding the Declaration of Independence. I think that was a, a critical time for Kosovo, uh, regardless of, of final status. Uh, you know, regarding the the, the status of the, of the territory, what it becomes. Uh, I I, st I think that was a very critical time, uh, and and we were able to maintain a safe and secure environment and freedom of movement. And so uh, that, I think, had a lasting impact because that probably other than uh, 2004 was, was, I think, as far as I know, the most critical time in, in, in the recent history. Many, not all, but many Kosovars appreciate our presence here. Uh, they, they understand and recognize the importance of K4 in providing a stable and secure environment so that the political dialogue can, can take place because without uh, without a stable and secure environment, uh, that dialogue would have a much, uh, you know, it would meet much more uh, resistance or, or be more difficult to accomplish. Uh, I've had people approach me on the street and, and want to give me hugs, even in the COVID environment, uh, and uh, they, they want to shake hands and, and they're very uh, appreciative and thankful. The uh, uh, deputy director for the Jalan region, Lieutenant Colonel Azizi, 
I met with him when I was a battalion S3 in 07 and 08, uh, probably about monthly, maybe every two weeks sometimes. Uh, and we formed, a, I think, a great relationship. And when I came back, I was really looking forward to seeing him again. And uh, I did have that opportunity probably about six weeks ago or two months ago. And, and it was really, he looked like he hadn't changed a bit. It was amazing. Uh, it was great to see him again. And we had a, a good long discussion. It was, we picked up right where we left off. It was great. Shortly before I, I left uh, in 2008, I, I specifically remember asking him, uh, how long do you think K4 will be here? Because I thought, you know, they've declared independence, it'll probably just be a couple more years. And Colonel, Sh uh, Colonel Azizi said, uh, oh, K4 will be here for a long time. And uh, I actually joked around with him here just a couple of months ago and, and reminded him that he said that. I don't think he remembered saying that, but uh, but he was right. Uh, we're, here we are, it's been uh, 13 years and, and K4 is still here and, and, uh, and I don't see an end in sight, honestly. Uh, you know, as long as uh, the status is not resolved, um, I think K4 will, will continue to uh, conduct operations here and, 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 and contribute to the safe and secure environment.